Instrument Air System Part 3. In this, we are going to talk about intercoolers and after coolers. This is the typical layout diagram of an instrument air system. In this diagram, one can see the component named cooler. It is located just after the compressor. There are two types of coolers, intercoolers and after coolers. In this photograph, one can see intercooler and after cooler. Request It is hoped that this lecture is going to be useful to you. Please press like. Please subscribe. Both intercoolers and after coolers may be air cooled on small temperatures. They are generally water cooled on larger compressors used in power plants. In nuclear plants, the cooling water is normally supplied by the component cooling water system or a similar system. The effectiveness of the heat exchangers depends upon the quantity and temperature of the cooling medium which comes in contact with the cooling surfaces. Therefore, it is essential that the flow of water through water cooled heat exchangers is unrestricted. Cooling water flow can be monitored by installing flow or differential pressure gauges. Cooling water inlet temperature should also be maintained within the specified range. Similarly, cooling fins on an air-cooled heat exchanger should have unrestricted access to cooling air flow. An abnormal increase in the discharge air temperature or moisture content may indicate as shown in the following slide. Clogged heat exchanger tubes or closed circulation water valves. Higher than usual cooling water temperature. In operative drain walls or traps. Dirty air cooling fins or otherwise restricted air circulation. High ambient te air temperature for air cooled heat exchangers. If steps are not taken to restore proper operation of the heat exchanger, heated air will pass into the air receiver where cooling and condensation will finally occur. This may ultimately result in moisture carryover and tank corrosion. On multi-stage compressors, a heat exchanger is usually provided between each stage of compression. These heat exchangers are called intercoolers. They provide inter-stage cooling of the air to reduce the volume 
to be compressed in the succeeding stages and remove condensed moisture and oil droplets through heat exchanger drains the function of the intercooler is to remove the heat of compression from the air after it leaves the first stage compressor cylinder and before it reaches the second stage of compression this reduces the air volume to be compressed in the second stage and improves the compression efficiency at the same time any moisture carried in the air is condensed and removed the most common cause of intercooler inefficiency is the use of dirty or hard scale forming cooling water any coating either in the tubes or on the outside will lower the heat transfer the tubes should be inspected at frequent intervals and cleaned if necessary this diagram shows the stand alone after cooler in this we can see that the compressor is there from compressor output is going to the stand alone after cooler and for, from after cooler the compressed air is going to the receiver tank after coolers on both single and multiple stage compressors a heat exchanger called an after cooler is installed after the final stage of compression the after cooler provides for cooling of the compressed air and removes condensed moisture and oil droplets from the air through a drain on the heat exchanger the after cooler should be located in the compressor discharge line between the compressor and the receiver and as near the compressor as possible preferable location is in the compressor room where its operation can be monitored and controlled readily in any location it must be protected against freezing temperature and enough room must be provided for dismantling and cleaning full size pipe connections between the compressor and the after cooler must be used to prevent pulsations in the pipeline a bypass wall a bypass pipe should be installed so that the after cooler can be removed for cleaning without shutting down the system in most types of after coolers the cooling water enters at the bottom and discharges at the top cooling water should be regulated so that the discharge air is cooled to within 15 degree fahrenheit of the temperature of the inlet water that is if the inlet water is 50 degree fahrenheit outlet air temperature should not exceed 65 degree fahrenheit 
If this limit of cooling cannot be achieved with full cooling water flow, it may indicate tube fouling or undersized heat exchanger. The cooler the inlet water, the cooler the air will be leaving the after cooler and more moisture will be removed from the air. In this diagram, one can study the working principle of air cooled after cooler. The next lecture shall be Instrument Air System Part 4. In this lecture, some other important component of the instrument air system shall be discussed. Request It is hoped that this lecture is useful to you. Please press like. Please subscribe.